Once upon a time, a long time ago, there was a little girl who lived with her mommy and her daddy and her little brother Timmy in a big blue house at the end of a long gravel driveway at the edge of a forest in Tillamook, Oregon. Now, the little girl and her family always celebrated Christmas on Christmas Eve. You see, her daddy worked in healthcare, and very often he would need to work on Christmas Day. So Christmas Eve was a very special time as they would have a fancy taco supper and then gather around the Christmas tree to open their Christmas presents. Such a special time together as they would discover what was inside all those beautifully wrapped packages. Christmas morning was also a special time as they would get up really early to be able to open their Christmas stockings as daddy would need to leave for work and so they would sit together and each person would take out one thing at a time from their Christmas stocking, ooing and aahing over the treasures that were inside. There was always two particular treasures that came up every year, a chocolate orange and a new toothbrush. Hmm. Well, this particular Christmas, the mommy said to the little girl, little girl, this afternoon, you are going to take a nap. The little girl was not excited about having to take a nap. You see, one of the things that they would do on Christmas Eve that would take extra time was after they opened their presents, they would read the Christmas story out of the Bible. And then they would get to act it out. The daddy would always play the role of the donkey. Mary and Joseph were the little boy and the little girl, and clip-clop went small donkey's hooves as he slowly climbed the last hill. The little girl also really enjoyed the part at the end of the Christmas story where Mary would ride the donkey with baby Jesus as they would escape to the country of Egypt. Well, doing all of these exciting things on Christmas Eve would make her stay up very late past her usual bedtime, and then they, everyone got up so early for Christmas Day that by the middle of the day on Christmas, there were times that the mommy just might be right, and if she didn't get enough sleep, maybe she was a little grouchy, maybe a little cranky, maybe. <sighs> but she did not want to take a nap. No, 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 no. She stomped around the house. I want to play with my dolly. I want to play with my dolly. I do not want to take a nap. There was one of those thunder clouds with rain coming down over her head. Well, the mommy was very wise, and she said to the little girl, well, here's what you need to do. You don't have to take a nap, but you have to lie down in your bed, and you have to have all the lights off, and you have to keep your eyes closed for 30 minutes. Hmm. Hmm. So two hours later, the little girl woke up from her Christmas nap. And the mommy heard her in the bedroom getting up, and she came in, and she was holding something. It was a new Christmas dress with white tights and a little girl's black patent shoes. And the mommy said, before you can come out of your room, you need to put this on. Now, the little girl, she had taken her rest, and she was ready to go play. She did not want to put on a dress and put on tights. And you know, her black patent shoes, they were a little tight on her feet. Mmm, she started to find that thundercloud gathering over her head again, but the mommy was insistent, you will put this on before you come out of your room. So sure enough, she got into her dress and wiggled into her tights and shoved her feet into the two small shoes and started out down the hallway with a frown on her face. As she walked down that hallway and came to the living room, she stopped. Wonder, awe, amazing, wonderful. There was something in the living room that hadn't been there before her nap. <gasps> what was it? She was pretty sure it was something special for her. Her daddy had come home early from work while he was sleeping, and the mommy and the daddy had built a playhouse in the middle of the living room. It had a real roof and it had a front door that opened and closed and the little girl could go inside and there was a mailbox that had her name right on it and when she went inside the playhouse there was a table and it had a set of dishes and there was a high chair with her new dolly sitting already ready for a tea party. There was a cradle with a blanket and a pillow. 
oh, it was everything she ever could have ever imagined. It was perfect for this little girl. And she looked to the side of the playhouse, and there was a window. And she leaned her head out the window, and her daddy came in with her, and she kissed her daddy on the cheek, and she said, Daddy, I'm sorry I was so grouchy and cranky. You love me, don't you? And the daddy said, I do love you, and there's nothing more that I want than to have special things to make you happy. Boys and girls, moms and dads, it's the Christmas season, and we have a Jesus in heaven who looks at us, and he doesn't see our crankies and our grouchies and what we don't want to do. Instead, he sees beautiful people that he loves so much. And in the Bible, it says that he is building a heavenly mansion just for us, and he knows everything that we like best and is making it just for us so that one day we're going to walk down those golden streets and up to that heavenly house, and Jesus is going to say, come on inside, I've made this place just for you.